Hi, this is Ask Brock. I'm Brock Yorty. This week's question comes from Bill in Texas. Brock, what is most important to you for choosing a rig? You know, regardless if this rig is new or something that is uh, existing in my fleet, you know, when I'm looking at what's most important to me with a rig, it's the future. Understanding that this is going to be the piece of equipment that gives me the greatest return on my investment is reliable, efficient, safe, and increases my profitability so that I can continue to grow. And when we think about this, if it is a new piece of equipment, you know, hands-free breakout systems, you know, rod handling, um, a tilt-out top head so that I'm able to pull rods off the rod trailer in a safe, better manner, maybe a skate system. Those things are important to me. I, uh, I need a piece of equipment that is easily moved, you know, from if I'm gonna be working in Michigan to Minnesota to, you know, Southern Ohio or Pennsylvania, that type of situation and understanding that there's going to be roads, bridges, weather that are going to impact what I need. But really, when I'm thinking about this piece of equipment, it's the future of my people. You know, I may have a great driller right now, but things change and I need user-friendly equipment. And we got a lot of different control systems out there right now. And uh, we have uh, controls that are completely detached from the rig platform. And uh, it's to help us be safe. It's to give us a different perspective. And we need to be able to teach. And it's succession planning. When I'm thinking about this piece of equipment that's going to be my champion, it's where do I go with this piece of equipment? Who can I train on it? And how do I stay ahead of the curve? And uh, all too often, we, we just keep going back to old reliable technology draw works those type of situations and there's there's absolutely places for draw works and tables but it's always going to take a very you know experienced time-wise driller to be able to run those pieces of equipment and so that means we have to be on top of it with a good training program to overcome the antiquated technologies that we're running versus what we can be running today also uh you know, electric. I'd love to see some more electric technology out there. Not electric over hydraulic, but, you know, AC rigs. Obviously, we have to be able to comply to emissions. Those are important aspects because it's the future of our industry and it's the future of groundwater and it's our environment. And we have to be environmental stewards, not only for protecting the groundwater, but for the entire environment. And if we've hit a point where tier four is where we have to be, then that's where we have to be. And those things are also important for us to think about. But people first, is this piece of equipment something that I can train, that can be versatile, that is able to do 80% of my work really effectively safe and efficient and do a little bit of work outside of that scope? You know, I, I think of some rigs that I've seen designed that, uh, you know, either the military or researchers need this piece of equipment that's gonna be a Swiss Army knife that can do a whole bunch of different jobs adequately, but nothing really efficient and effectively. And that's, that's not to take away from the rigs that we have out there right now, the, the duo top heads that can switch and be pretty effective. I'm just talking about putting too many pieces to a, a rig and uh, that's what we need because it's the only rig we're gonna have in Siberia or the Atacama Desert or something like that. But I think about the 4th of July and my wife asking me to open a bottle of wine when we're out in the field and uh, I have my Swiss Army knife. And so I, I go to the corkscrew and I fight the cork out of that bottle. When I'm thinking to myself, back in my dining room, I have this awesome drill that drills right into my cork and I pull it out. And that's what I need is effective, efficient pieces of equipment. So good luck on choosing that piece of equipment, that champion. And uh, it's a great question. 
and it's all about our people being comfortable with the equipment, being safe, and being able to effectively execute without me being involved and knowing that they can be successful so that we all can have time outside of this industry as well. Cheers. Mm -hmm.